Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new, please subscribe. My channel is about all things beauty related, all kinds of beauty content, tutorials, reviews, all things makeup. So today's makeup tutorial is a champagne holiday glam eye look. I really, really like neutral makeup. It's a full face, I skin, eyes, everything, lips. And we're gonna jump right into it. Be sure to subscribe for future tutorials and hit the bell for future notifications of uploads. And we're gonna jump right into the tutorial. All right, so I've been going back and forth about what palettes I want to use for a New Year's look. And I am gonna use the Pretty Grunge palette. I just feel like I just purchased this palette and it's a really good palette and it just screams New Year's, especially like Huda Beauty's formula and her shimmers are just so amazing. So I am going to use this palette for a New Year's look. First, I'm going to clip back my hair and I'm going to prime my eyes. So one of my favorite eyeshadow primers is the P. Louise Base. I have it in Rumor 02. The only thing is, I think this is super, super light for me. Like, look how light that is. So light. So I'm going to mix mine. And we really need, like, the smallest amount. I've seen some videos where people just cake this stuff on. And it's just, like, you only need a little, little bit. And then I'm going to go in, just to darken it up some, I'm going to go in with some Born This Way Vanilla Concealer. This is one of my favorite concealers. So they kind of just look like that. Very different colors, but I'm gonna mix them up with a concealer brush and then just tap them right on my eyelid. Just like that. And this is gonna give us a really good eyeshadow base. I don't do this every time. I do this if I'm doing a like more dramatic look. Um, other than that, just like straight up concealer and foundation is really all I need. In my everyday makeup, I usually use just a, um, I use just a foundation. And then you can kind of cross them over and connect them here, because if not, it's just going to like, um, just look strange. So just like that. And how you prep your eyelids for eyeshadow is super, super important. Because like I said, if you cake on a bunch of P. Louise base, it's just not going to look right. Um, and also how you set them. So I'm going to set them. I have a new favorite setting powder. This is Floracis Beauty. Floracis Beauty and this is Peach Blossom. So you spin it like this. It comes with a puff. It's super fancy looking. This is $36. And I just will puff my puff in. And it gives me the smallest amount of powder. And it's just a amazing finely milled powder and this is what it looks like there's like a little net and my wife took my setting powder on her her friend's bachelorette trip and I was like oh my gosh I don't have any setting powders and Florissa sent this to me and I used it and I was blown away like amazing amazing all right, so just like that, you see how nice my eyelids are set. Take the Pretty Grunge Palette by Huda Beauty. This palette is $70. It's newly launched. Comes with all these shades in a mirror. So this is a Morphe JH32 blending brush. I'm just going to start with the Hourglass Bronzer shade. So this is the bronzer in the shade Luna Bronzer. It's like a shimmery, warm bronze shade. And I'm going to blend this into my crease. And I'm actually going to keep this pretty high on my crease. This, like, this is my first ever hourglass palette and it's just like amazing. Do you see how that just blended like a dream on my eyelid? Cannot get over hourglasses formula with this palette. So I'm just giving myself a nice warm defined crease. I have a whole like YouTube short filming with this palette because I just love it so much. Um, so good. I do like a full face, blush, eyes, everything with this palette. Alright, so I have the Ambient Light Lunar Bronze in my crease. And I'm going to clean up the outer V here after. You can always put tape so it makes it less of a mess. But I, um, I think the tape just like doesn't stick to my skin. I think it's the way my like facial expressions are right here. It just doesn't stick. 
so I really don't use tape. All right, so there we go. We have this brown crease. Just trying to get them to match. All right, so next I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna take the pink shade Liberty, which is a nice warmer salmon shade. Tap out the excess and I'm just gonna blend this here, outer upper crease. Her shadows are just, holy cow, amazing. I'm like so surprised. I saw a video one time that said like, don't invest in Cutie Beauty eyeshadow palettes and I'm shook because I think her formula and everything of all, as I have this one, an empowered palette as well, is amazing. So blending out the pink in the outer upper crease. So something like that. And I'm gonna take an Ariel A25. I'll have everything linked below, all the brushes I use. And I'm gonna take the shade Rise Up, which is a like cool tone brown right below it. And I'm gonna put that in my outer V. Right down here. And down here on the other eye. Thank you to whoever commented, I'm sorry, I don't remember the name exactly, about how to get eyelash low up my lashes to use pure coconut oil because I am, I haven't bought it yet, but I plan on it. Um, buying pure coconut oil so I can get the lash glue off my lashes. I'm just like, oh my God. Just dragging it up just a tad. Okay, so now I want to do a little bit of a dramatic shadow wing. All right, so now I'm gonna take a brush like this by Sephora and I'm going to go in with the shade Hope right there, which is a really, really dark brown shade. Like draw a shadow wing. that and then the other eye see the thing with the secret with the wing is you have to manifest that they're gonna look good and they're gonna match you know what I'm saying And they can be pretty messy because we are going to blend these out. So I'm just going to take this blending brush again, the A25 by Ariel, and I just want to blend this out along my lash line. So we are going to go in with a wing. And you can pick up a little bit of the shade Hope, tap it off, and then just blend it here. Taking a little bit of Hope, blending it in the outer V. And then I just want to go back in on just like a fluffy brush. This is a color or this is a Sephora 311 brush. And I just want to go back in with the shade Liberty and kind of just blend out here at the edges. I just want like a warmish cool tone crease. It's like a neutral look. This eye, I like how probably this is looking, but this over here looks a little patchy. So I'm just gonna take some more hope and just kinda 
one some more. I like a really blended look. I don't like a really harsh, harsh, dark outer B. So a lot of my looks are really like over blended. Not really like a fan of the really like cut crease kind of looks. I don't know. I like a really soft blended look. Okay. So now I wanna play with shimmers. I'm a little, all right, so I have this Artist Couture. This is the Illuminati Loose Highlighter. So pretty. And I think I'm just gonna go in with this. I'm gonna like get this wet and then put it on. I have this eyeshadow brush. This is a JH41. It's just like a shadow brush like that. Some setting spray. This is Morphe setting spray. I'm gonna pour my highlighter into the lid so it's a loose powder. It looks like that. I'm going to dip my brush in, kind of make a paste. Oh, wow. That's a lot. That is a lot. Brush it on. Like that. Wow, that's so pretty. This is looking like I wanted it to. And this is just a little bit of a drier powder on top. Isn't that so pretty? Like, isn't that like a neutral, wearable kind of New Year's look? What's crazy is during my makeup declutter last year, I almost got rid of this loose powder. Cause it's supposed to be a highlight, but I'm like, it's too like glittery. And I watched someone in a video use it as like an eyeshadow and not a highlighter. And I was like, yeah, I like that. So I'm just kind of like packing it on now. Get my brush a little bit more wet because I feel like dip it in and then pack it on again. So pretty. All right, and then I'm going to go back in with this Ariel Morphe brush and kind of just tap away the glitter away of the darker, away from the darker part. And then I want to take this shimmer called Stand Up, which is like a really nice, pretty, mauve shimmer. Take Stand Up, and I'm going to tap that at the very edge here. Like that. All right, so I'm going to do the other eye. I'm going to pour out some more highlighter into my cap, spray my brush, and dip into the highlighter, and then apply it to the lid. So this one is a little bit more metallic than the other one. Just making me like, how am I gonna get them to match? It's okay. Okay. Like that. And then brush off the dark the glitter on the dark part. And then we're gonna that shade stand up. And I'm going to tap that here on the edge. I love this shade stand up. It's like so pretty. Okay. And then take that brush again and just kind of like rub the dark back over. Okay, that looks really nice. I like it. Okay, so now I am going to do some eyeliner. So I think what I'm going to do is just go back in with some eyeshadow and do a shadow wing. So I'm going to go back in with that brown called Hope. And I'm going to do a shadow wing.
And then I'm gonna go this side and do the same. And then I'm going to take that Ariel brush again and kind of just like blend everything. I want like a soft, smoked. I like, I hate how this one's super defined out here and this one kind of blends out. So I'm going to make this one more defined out here. So they match and then eventually I'm going to clean this up. I have this e.l.f. makeup melting cleansing balm. I love this stuff. So I'm going to take a q-tip, put some of it in the cap, roll it around. Um, so I don't want to go with any globs and I'm just going to clean this up and pull it away from my makeup because if I Pull it up in a way it can kind of like drag a line so that's what I'm doing and then I have toilet paper here that I'm going to just rub down because I don't want this like sitting on my skin I'm gonna go under my eye get rid of all that so this eye is pretty cleaned up pulling away Oh my god, look how uneven my wings look now. Oh my. Okay, so I'm gonna just pull like this. Just see what I can do about that one. Hmm. It looks so bad. I don't, I guess they're, they're okay. They're not bad enough that I'm gonna like do anything about it because. Alright, so I'm cleaning up my underneath my eye. My eyes, you want to make sure though that you get all of the balm off your skin with the toilet paper or paper towel because it will cause your makeup to suck. For face makeup, I've really been loving the Fix and Last Essence Jelly Primer. This stuff is super affordable. It comes in a huge bottle and it is so good. So I do like one pump and I'm going to apply this to my whole face. So something that's been bothering me about makeup tutorials lately is like the sped up makeup tutorials. Um, when they do their skincare, I don't know if people know, but you have to let the product soak into your skin before you apply makeup. And skin prep is super, super important. But they're letting that sit for a while before they go on foundation. And like this primer is very sticky and very like skin preppy feeling. So I do let this get like a few, so I do let this set for a little bit before I go in my foundation. And while I let this set, I go in with my NARS concealer. I have a whole short about this concealer. It's so amazing. And this is in the shade 2.2. It's like $30, so worth the investment because it covers up everything. And so I'm going to spot conceal any blemishes on my face. And then I let this set for like three, four minutes or something. So that way when I go with my foundation, it's not gonna move the concealer or the primer. So my favorite foundation lately has been the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage. I love this foundation. Mine is in the shade Hazelnut Beige, which is a little too dark for me, but that's okay because I'm gonna bronze my neck and I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand. And I'm going in on my Sephora foundation brush. I'm going to pat this all over. I just love this foundation so much. And so I'm not going to apply that much underneath my eyes because I am going to go in with a full coverage concealer. And that just kind of helps with less creasing. 
I also love this brush by Sephora. It's a very good foundation brush. So now I'm gonna apply some concealer. I'm gonna go with the Too Faced Born This Way concealers. I'm gonna mix the shades Snow and the shades Vanilla. So I do want a very bright under eye. And I'm gonna take my concealer brush, this is the Morphe JH08, and I'm gonna blend these together and then apply them underneath my eye. And I'm gonna drag them up here as well. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of highlighting with this. Just like a sponge and just tap this in because I want the part in the center of my face to be very light. And I might actually just tap this in as well with my eyes. So I don't want it to be super overpowering. So then to set my under eyes, I'm gonna go back in with the Floresa setting powder. This stuff is just so good. And in that same puff, and I just wanna tap it underneath. It's so good, like I'm telling you. I was shook when I used this. Thank you, Floresa's Beauty, because this setting powder is just phenomenal. It makes your makeup look so like airbrush, it's insane. I'm gonna set my whole face with the Flower Beauty setting powder. And I'm going in on a Sephora brush and I just tap it in. Don't ever swipe back and forth. It's just tapping motions. All right, so then I'm gonna go in with my Flower Beauty Ambient Light palettes, and I'm gonna highlight with the shade Lunar Bronze. I'm sorry, I'm gonna contour with the shade Lunar Bronze. I just love this bronzer so much. I'm trying to find something similar to it because Hourglass is super pricey. And the closest I found was Flower Beauty's bronzer, which looks like this. Totally different shades, but the formula is a little bit similar. And so try and keep your bronzer, it's going to end up falling below your cheekbone anyway, but try and keep it on top of your cheekbone so it gives you like a lifted effect. All right, and then I'm gonna take my blush brush and go in with the pink shade, which is Diffused Heat. I've read on, I heard on TikTok, there's all these videos about this being like the perfect bridal blush. And I agree, it is seriously so pretty. It gives you the prettiest pink glow. And then I'm gonna brush this on my forehead. I like to put a little bit of blush on my forehead and on my nose. And I love blush, like love blush. Cannot get enough of blush. All right, and if you ever feel like you wanna like clean up a little bit, I'm gonna take that powder by Floresis and I'm gonna tap my powder puff in it and just like to give myself some more definition down there and 
and then a little bit right up in here. And just let that sit for a couple minutes and then just kind of brush it away. All right, now I'm gonna do a little bit of nose contouring. Brushes like this that I love for nose contouring. And this is an old discontinued palette by Too Faced. It's their Coco Contour Palette. And I'm gonna go with their lightest contour shade. And I'm going to rub this along the sides of my nose to do a little bit of a contour. And then just a tad underneath my lip. After that, we're going to do brows. So I like to wait till the very end to do my brows. I don't like it when the powder ends up in my brow gel. So I'm brushing all my hairs up. And I'm going to use <gasps> No Way. All right, well, my favorite brow pencil is gone. So never mind, but I love the Benefit brow pencil. But I do have a backup dupe. I have this Morphe. And this is in the shade Latte. So I'm going to go in with Latte. And I'm just going to try and keep my natural brows, like their shape. And I just kind of fill in, kind of just feather in lately. And then I'm just going to brush down. And then I'm just going to feather in just a little in here. I usually don't touch in the inner part. I'm just going to feather in just a little bit. All right, I'm gonna go into my favorite brow gel. This is the NYX brow gel. And I want that feathered brow look. All right, so now I want to kind of fix up whatever happened when I was doing my face makeup, what happened over here. So I'm just gonna take, I don't really want that. So I have this smaller Morphe brush. I don't even know the name of it. Oh, it's P9, small pointed. I wanna go with the shade Hope. A really, really light amount. And I just wanna kind of blend out here. And this way it looks okay. It looks okay. So we'll do the other side. Okay, looks nice. All right, looks great. I want a brush like this. This is an REL A29. It's like flat blender brush like that and I want to take the shade take the shade rise up which is that cool tone brown shade and I'm just gonna blend that in my outer lower lashes so I don't want the bottom lash line to be too dramatic All right, on a small brush, this is a ColourPop E21. I'm gonna go back on the Hourglass palette and I'm gonna take that lightest ambient lighting powder, which this one is Finished Powder Earth Real Light Finishing Powder. And I'm gonna highlight my inner corner with this. It's gonna be a very soft highlight. Take that same highlight, I'm just gonna touch it under my brow. And 
and then down my nose just a little bit and the top of my lip okay before we do the rest of the eyes I want to do my lips so I'm gonna go in with my this is one of my new favorite lip liners this is NYX Peekaboo Neutral. It's a really nice Your Lips Fit Better pink shade. And I'm going to overline just the center of my lips. I have like dry skin around my mouth here and I like never have dry skin so that's weird. And then I want to go in with my new nude lipstick, which is called Fantasy Life by Kosas. I got this in a little holiday gift set. I have a Sephora haul that I uploaded when I bought these. So it's like a peach tone nude, and it's a little bit too light for my liking. So I'm going to take this Essence Lip Liner, and this is in the shade Cinnamon. I'm just going to do a little contouring. And so there, a little bit of lip contouring. And then I ordered a Ciate London package with a bunch of mystery box things and this lip gloss came in it. And this is their Jelly, Jelly Dewy Gloss in the shade Charm. This lip gloss screams me. And I'm just gonna put this on the center. It is truly the jelliest, best lip gloss I've ever used. Like it's amazing. Okay, so there's the lips, and the eyes are almost done, but before I do anything with that, I want to do some setting spray. Before I finish off the eyes, I want to do some setting spray. I'm going to go in with the NYX Matte Finish Make It Last. No, wait, sorry. Matte Finish Fine Mist. I'm almost out of this stuff. I love it so much. And then do not open your eyes until it's dried. And then while it's almost dry, I'm going to take a puff. And just like push it into my skin. This really helps the makeup last. Then I'm gonna finish off the eyes. I'm gonna go with some Essence Nude Eyeliner. This is my favorite waterline nude eyeliner. It's super affordable. All right, and then I'm going to apply a coat of mascara. So I am going to go on some false lashes. And as soon as my lashes are dry, I'm going to apply the Ardell Wispy Lashes. So I never did a highlight. I'm actually just going to take the highlight in the palette. Actually, I'm going to take this highlight. No, I'm going to take, oh my gosh, I don't know. This finishing powder, Diffuse Light, this one. And I'm going to just highlight here. And I actually prefer to do this after setting powder because it just lasts longer in my opinion. And I'm going to take this up here too. And down here. All right, guys, that completes this look. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment, and I'll see you in my next video.